Hey, this is Brian from Motion Media, and I wanted to show you how to borrow a license from a network or multi-user license pool if you own an Autodesk product. We get a lot of questions on how to do this from our customers, so I thought I would put together a short video and show you how to do this relatively simple procedure. But first, I wanted to go over some general guidelines uh, that you should know about if you're going to borrow licenses. The first, of course, it needs to be what is called a floating or a multi-user license in Autodesk speak. The maximum time that you can borrow a license is for six months. There is an options file that I will go over in another video that can set a lot of parameters about network licensing, one of which is the maximum time a license can be borrowed. Borrowing is handled on a per user and per computer basis. That means that you borrow the license from the end user's computer. It is tied to that MAC address and that computer is required to be on the network connected to the network license server at the time of it being borrowed. Once the borrowed license has reached the expiration date that has been specified by the user, it will automatically be returned to the pool. So in this case, the license server does not need to be connected to the original machine. However, in order to return the license early, so for example, let's say you wanted to borrow it for two weeks, but you want to return it a week early, you do need to be connected from that same machine to the license server in order to return the license. This procedure works across many of the Autodesk product line. In this case, I'm going to be using it from Maya 2020. I'm just going to go ahead and start the Network License Manager tool. This tool is typically run on your server and it controls how your licenses are used. Uh, think of it as the library and your licenses are books that are getting checked in and out of the library. In my case, I have it on my same machine so that I can do this demonstration, but this is not the normal configuration. And I'm going to go to the server status and I'm going to perform a status inquiry. This is just to show you that we have my one Maya license issued and I have this one Maya license in use. You can see behind me that I'm using it here. So right now uh, I have a valid expiry date of 2025. I have a floating license of Maya. So let's go, going back to the Maya, what we need to know is how to borrow this. We want to be in the application from the end user's machine. Once we're logged in, there's going to be a pull down menu and you're going to go to manage license. From here we click borrow, then we pick an expiration date. If we do not return the license early by that date, it will return automatically at midnight of that date. And I say borrow license. That's all there is to it. You have successfully borrowed a license. Okay, so we're back here in LM Tools. And if I go and do a perform status inquiry, you can see that it shows, even though I have exited Maya, that it still shows that one license is in use. Then if I go over to the borrowing tab and list uh, currently borrowed features, you're going to see that there is one Maya that will uh, is borrowed until June 12th at uh, 2 minutes to midnight. So that's pretty uh, straightforward. Then the next thing you need to do to return it is launch Maya and go back and return the license. Okay, we're back here in Maya. We're going to return the license. So we go back to that same menu manage license and return. This would only be for an early return of the license and it must be from the same machine that the license was borrowed from if you are doing an early return. Otherwise, once the expiration date that was originally set hits, the license will go back into the general pool. Alright, well thank you for watching.